Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to another video and welcome back to another vlog. This vlog is going to be a little bit different. I usually weekly vlog as you guys know, but um, this week I'm going to be focusing on reading um, 100 pages, physical, physical 100 pages every day. So um, I tend to get into a... Um, Kind of a groove with my reading and i'll spend a lot of time listening to my audiobooks on the way to and from work but when i actually get home i'm not doing a ton of reading so i can still listen to audiobooks here at home as long as i'm reading physically along with the book i just want to spend some more time with the book in front of my in front of my face flipping the pages and experiencing you know reading a book instead of just listening to audiobook hours so um this week, I'm just going to focus on reading 100 pages a day um, of a physical book. I'm hoping to wake up um, a little bit earlier in the morning to try to get 50 pages done um, in the morning and then only have to focus on 50 pages at night because um, I tend to get burnt out after about the 50 page mark. But today, that was not the case. So I'm going to do some physical reading today. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on what I plan on reading and how my reading is going so far. I did get three new books in the mail today, so I'm really excited. I showed them off in my last vlog, but since I'm picking right up where I left off, I'll just show them to you guys. I got Chain of Iron, um, A Court of Silver Flame, and um, a, a Vow So Bold and Deadly. I can't read it from the from it sideways like that. But um, these two books right here are chunkier than hell. But um, I won't be reading any of those. Those just came in the mail. Um, my TBR right now. And these are the kind of book. These are the books that I want to focus on. So I'm not gonna read all four of these this week. But these are kind of what I'm bouncing between and then I have one more. So we have All the Southern Teeth by Adeline Grace. Um, I do have to read this one physically because I wasn't able to pick up an audiobook for this one. So this will be a good one to read. I also need to read my book club pick which is The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. I am buddy reading These Violent Delights. Oops. These Viol Violent Delights by Chloe Gong but I've already read 180 pages of this and we are reading it throughout the entire month. So I'm not too stressed about this one. So I probably won't pick this one up too much this week. And then I also am reading The Ark of the Scythe the second book, um, Thunderhead, and I am already uh, four chapters in, but this one I am also reading physically because I was not able to get the audiobook for this. So that is kind of my plan for the moment. I'm just listening to this. Um, I'm reading these two physically. I have the audiobook for this, and then I also am starting a buddy read today with Sharon. We are reading Rhapsodic. I'll put the picture up on the screen here, and that is what I'm going to focus on today because I don't want to get too far behind my buddy reading of that, and I am really, really excited to give it a go. Um, she has already read some of the book and is really enjoying it so i am so excited i have the ebook of that one and the audiobook so i'll be listening to the audiobook and physically reading alongside that one so that is my that's my goal for these next couple days is just to read 100 pages a day and really just push myself um to get those goals met every day so that is the goal i will keep you guys updated i'm not gonna do like a super detailed i might do i might do a super, super detailed vlog and then like let you guys know how each day goes i guess it just depends on my mood and how i'm feeling but i do have a video to edit today and hopefully two videos to edit and a video to film today. So we'll see how that goes, but I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Here we go, here we go again. Trying hard, but you want to be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. I'm a bluff, I'm a be you till the end I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to If you don't wanna change Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to If you don't wanna change Okay guys, I'm giving you guys a little update from my bookshelf because I just finished filming a video but right before I finished filming this video I actually reached my 100 pages for the day I read Rhapsodic um and this book is so good um I am already loving it this follows um a girl named Callie who is a siren and um during a turn of events a couple of years before the book is set you're getting kind of flashback scenes um during the chapters but she um gets into some trouble and ends up making a deal with um, this guy named the bargainer and he uh, he makes deals um in order for uh like secrets and different um trades and things like that so um he'll usually like um, give you a bead and then when it, he decides he'll come and collect whatever deal he wants from you and whatever it is that he asks you to do you have to do it and so 
it's a really interesting book so far you can already feel the sexual tension and the um the wild craziness that is this book but basically um the main character Callie she has a very large amount of deals for the bargainer and you are kind of learning that they may have had a much more of a relationship than led on in when you originally start the book and after seven years um the bargainer comes back into her life to um collect on those payments and those bargains and um she doesn't really know the reason why he's back and why it took him so long to come and collect and um we're just we're trying to figure out what the heck is really going on and it is so good the um the tension the the like sexual atmosphere the angst is just killing me and i'm enjoying it so much i kind of want to like just binge read the whole thing right now because i'm enjoying it immensely but i cannot do that since i am buddy reading it but i am still really freaking enjoying it and really hoping that i can continue to read that throughout the week I might do some more reading today, but I really do have a video to get edited um, for you guys today since I didn't op upload one today. Usually Mondays is my usual uploading day, but that didn't happen. So I'm going to get a, a video up to you guys tomorrow. All of these videos are coming to you a wee bit late. Hope you guys don't mind, but that is the plan for the rest of the night. I will uh, let you guys know when I have something more to say. I'll probably do some reading before I go to bed. Um, that's usually what I do, but um, it would be nice since I can, so I can actually tackle something that's on my TBR. That would be helpful <laughs> just a little bit so i will talk to you guys in a little okay guys so i just wanted to give you my update for the night i did end up reading 205 pages today of rhapsodic and i am freaking loving it um i didn't really say what this book is about because i really didn't know i just picked it up because sharon and i decided to buddy read it but this follows a um girl named callie maybe i did did i say what this was about i honestly don't remember Oh yeah, I did when I was over there. Um, okay, so I did I did say what this was about, but um, it's getting so good. And I would definitely say that this this book is for fans of Sarah J. Mass. Like, if you like Sarah J. Mass, if you liked Crescent City, if you liked Akatar, you will like probably really love this series. It definitely gives me like the alpha male like protector vibes that you get from Crescent City with Hunt and Bryce, but it also kind of gives me like the um. I guess that's also like a, like a hate to love. There's a lot of like um, animosity, but a lot of like angst and um, sexual tension between them. But that also kind of reminds me of um, Tamlin from the first book in the Actar series. Um, and especially like learning more about his world and um, like his true intentions and like what he really wants. Um, it kind of like gives me Akatar vibes. So really enjoying it. Plus, um, the main character, his name is Desmond. He's also a fairy, so again, Akatar vibes. Um, so it, it's definitely giving me Sarah J. Mass vibes for sure. So if you like SJM, like you will probably love this book. I'm really enjoying it. I'm already halfway through the book. We are flying through it. Like we'll definitely probably be finished tomorrow. Um, Sharon said that she would probably finish it on Wednesday, but I'm like, I don't think I can wait that long. Um, and then we're gonna probably buddy read the second book in April because it's just so good. I highly doubt that by the end of this book, like I'm gonna want to like stop reading the series because it's just so much fun. So 205 pages down today and hopefully tomorrow is just as successful. And hopefully I can finish Repsodic because it's been like sucking me in and making me like not wanna read anything else. And I really have to like get started on my TBR. It's already the ninth of the month and I haven't finished a single book on my TBR. I finished other books. There's not a book on my TBR this month. So that would be helpful. So that is my plan. I'm going to go to bed now and I will talk to you guys in the morning. Mm, so do you ever just feel like you just want to like, you know, so that's how we're going to film this clip today. Um, I did some reading this morning of Thunderhead by N Neil, Sh Niall, Niall, <laughs> what the hell? Neil Schusterman. Um, I read 36 pages this morning. I had some video stuff to handle this morning, so I did that. And um, I was able to get some reading done, but now I'm going to go ahead and jump up and get ready for work. So that's my update. That's it. 36 pages. Uh, I will definitely read more tonight. Um, hopefully I can finish Rhapsodic tonight. Um, and I also will be reading my an audiobook on the way to and from work. But again, we're not counting those towards my 100 pages a day thing. So that's my update and i'll talk to you guys when i get off of work hi guys so i just wanted to give you guys a quick update i just got home from work and finished eating it's currently 6 12 p.m <clears throat> and i did do a lot of audiobook listening today on my way to and from work i picked up tuesdays with maury um for my audiobook read for the month and i'm currently on page one oops, 136 of one like 90 something 
Um, it's a pretty quick, quick, quick read, and I'm listening to it at big time speed. But it's um really good. It's a very enlightening book. Um, it follows a man who his, his name is Maury, and he is dying of ASL, and um it follows the perspective of uh, one of his old college students who they had a really good relationship with and um after Maury got sick they rekindled their relationship and he goes there every tuesday and um gets life lessons from um a dying man and it it's a really 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 um heartfelt and meaningful book and a lot of fantastic life lessons in here so i'm really enjoying that but I just got some book mail and I wanted to open it with you guys. I do know what it is and I'm really, really excited. So I want to document this experience because I cannot wait. Okay, we'll start with the least exciting one first. And it's not really that it's the least exciting. It's just the one I'm not as excited about comparatively to the other one. But the first one I have here is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. Um, I ended up getting the um, paperback because the hardcover was no longer available in um, the United States at the time, and I really wanted to pick up this book, so I went for the paperback. Um, it's a lot smaller than I thought that it was going to be, but it's still about 500 pages, so it's just really, really thin paper, I guess, but, um, I've heard really good things about this. I've heard this is really dark, um, very, um, centered around, um, the opium wars, and that it's just, you have to go in, like, knowing it's going to be really dark, but I've heard that it's fantastic, so I'm really excited for this one, and then, guys, <laughs> I'm so excited. Apps for age, Evie Brown. <laughs> I'm so pumped. I am trying to have some self-control and some restraint so that I don't just jump into this book right now because you guys know how much I love the Brown Sister series and I'm so excited for the conclusion of this series. I cannot wait to read this. Um, when I finish my uh, TBR this month, hopefully I finish it early, I can jump into this before the end of the month because I want to read this like ASAP, but I don't want to sabotage myself and then not read my TBR. So that is the plan for this baby and then hopefully i can get around to the poppy war sometime soon i'm really hoping that i can read it like asap but those are those or <laughs> those are the updates that i have for now i'm probably just going to um relax for a little bit maybe play some animal crossing i need to go check on my turnips and see what turnip prices are and then i will probably sit down and read some more of um rhapsodic and Sharon already pretty much finished it, so I'm going to go sit down and finish it soon. So I'm really loving that book series so far, and I cannot wait to read more. So that is, that is the plan for this time. Um, I still haven't read any more physically, but I do plan on finishing this book tonight and then reading some more of Rhapsodic. So those will be my 100 pages for the day. So that's it. Those are the updates. That are updates? Wow, I really can't talk today. Those are the updates, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hi, friends. So I'm just coming on here to give you a quick update, um, since I didn't update you guys last night on my 100 pages a day for the week. So as for yesterday, I did read um, 100 pages. I read actually 208 pages. I definitely met my goal, and I actually finished Rhapsodic last night. Um, both Sharon and I finished it last night, and we absolutely loved it. It was so good. Like, it was so good. I will say that the ending kind of threw me for a loop and kind of hindered my enjoyment just a little bit because the, the, the dynamics changed quite a bit um for at least for me and um I don't really know how I feel about that moving forward but I am really excited to move on to the second book but I did finish that last night so I read um the rest of the 208 pages that was available I'm um, sorry rest of the 100 ish pages that were available and then I also read <clears throat> from Thunderhead yesterday so that also counted towards my 100 pages so I have not yet read this morning. I have um, I have the day off. I don't work Mondays and I'm sorry Wednesdays and Thursdays. So <clears throat> I have the day off. I just um, was running some errands over the phone. I had to do a couple of things, set up a couple of appointments, and then I took a shower and got ready. Obviously, I don't do this very often, but I figured today was a good day to uh, maybe put, a, put in a little extra effort. Uh, I'm gonna go run a couple errands. I have to go get a couple things for my dog. I have to drop off some library books that I picked up that are now um, back do they're due now so um i need to go drop those off but other than that i'm just kind of chilling for the rest of the day i do want to use um some time today to read tuesdays with maureen to finish up some of my 100 pages for the day um i'm going to read this alongside the audiobook to help with my physical reading when i get home so um there's that and then i'm hoping to um pick up some more of thunderhead today i'm really hoping to maybe get to page um like 150 today depending on how much time i have to read i do have my therapy appointment today so um That'll just depend on how I feel after that. So that is the update for now. That is the plan. Um, I'm kind of just going to relax and chill. Oh, I forgot to mention that I yesterday got two more books um, from work that I didn't mention after my haul. Um, but I picked up another Sylvia Day book. Um, Sylvia Day is the author of that 
smutty series that I read, like, binge read last month. Um, and this is um, two books in one. They're just, like, short little novellas. Um, and they're smutty books that I, you know, just couldn't get away from. And then I picked up a Penelope Douglas book. I thought this was going to be more of a romance, but it seems like it's more of a romantic suspense. The back of this sounds very, very creepy. It says, Banks, buried in the shadow of the city, there's a hotel called The Pope. Um, ailing, empty, and dark, it sits abandoned and surrounded by a forgotten mystery. But you think it's true, don't you? Kai Mori. The story about the hidden 12th floor, the mystery of the dark guest who checked in and never checks out. You think I can help you find the secret hideaway and get to him, don't you? You and your friends try to scare me. You can you can try to push me, even though I struggle to hide everywhere I feel when you look at me and have ever since I was a girl. I still know that what you seek is so much closer than you'll ever realize. I will never betray him. So sit tight. On Devil's Night, the hunt will be coming to you. Kai. Uh, you have no idea what I seek, little one. You don't know what I had to become to survive three years in a prison for a crime I would gladly commit again. No one can know what I've turned into. I want that hotel. I want to find him. And I want this over. I want my life. I want my life back. But the more I'm around you, the more I realize this new me is exactly who I want to be. So come on, kid. Don't chicken out. My house is on the hill. So many ways in. Good luck finding your way out. I've seen your hideaway. Now it's time to see mine. I'm like, what the hell is this? Um, if you guys have read this, let me know. I picked this up because I wanted to read Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. Um, she does like forbidden dark romances. Um, and I wouldn't say forbidden, but more like taboo romances. And I've heard really good things about uh, Birthday Girl, but I wanted to go ahead and give this one a try. So um, we'll see. I'm kind of scared after reading the back because I have literally no idea what this is about. I think I might have to look up Goodreads ratings and see if I want to keep this on my shelves. So we will see. But that is my update for the day. I'm going to go and run my errands and I will be back in a little bit. Okay, if you've made it this far into the video, I need your help. I want you to know what you like, what you think about this shirt. I just bought it. It's really cute. But I don't know, is it is it my style or is it time for me to change styles? Because I think this is cute. I love the fact that I can see my tattoo through this shirt. And I like the puffy sleeves. I just think this is very different for me. So I kind of need another opinion. And well, that's not my husband's because I don't, I don't think he's going to like this shirt. But I just wanted to know like what you guys thought of this shirt. I think it's really cute. But please do let me know your opinions. But basically, I just went and um, I went to a little consignment store for clothing. Um, and then I went to... Um, pet smart to pick up food for my dog so that was pretty much it for my errands i was gonna go to the library but they weren't open yet and i didn't feel like driving all the way over there when i know they're not gonna be open for another hour or so so i will go later on today they're open till eight so after i'm done with my live show i will um go over there so anyways let me know what you think about the shirt i'm gonna go do some reading since i haven't done any reading today and i will talk to you guys in a little bit i can help you out i can help you out friends i hope that you guys are doing well i am just coming on here to talk a little bit about the last couple of days don't mind the clothes in the background i went shopping and they're just chilling right there but um basically i wanted to come on here to let you guys know that i i failed majorly failed um on this whole reading 100 pages a day thing um on thursday i read 98 pages so close yet no so are um i was reading up until a, a point where i had to leave um and didn't quite get those last two pages and then i came home and ran some errands and did some things and I just didn't get around to picking a book back up again so unfortunate but I'm gonna take it as a win seeing as the rest of the days were a complete and total loss um on Friday I came home and watched the newest episode of Grey's Anatomy and I'm not gonna lie it kind of put me in a depressed state <laughs> and I didn't feel like reading anymore so um that was that I didn't read on Friday and then yesterday we went shopping and then um I spent a lot of time with my husband's side of the family last night and they didn't get home until a little bit later and I was not I was not in the mood to pick up a book so Needless to say, I, uh, I just really haven't been reading. Um, and I really haven't, I haven't finished a single book on my actual TBR. Like, I finished a few books this month, but none that were actually on my TBR for this month. So that is disconcerting to say the least. Um, so I, I don't really know what's going on. I don't know if I'm feeling like the residual at, like, like residuals of my slump and I'm just like really struggling or what, but I just haven't been in the mood to like film, edit, 
or really pick up a book. I am still in the middle of The City of Brass by S.A. Shaka Porty. I'm like 200 pages in and I'm enjoying it, but um, I don't know, I just haven't felt like the need to like pick it up at the moment. But I do plan on getting back on the wagon today and reading some today so I can at least like finish out this vlog and say I kind of did it. <laughs> Five days out of seven, I think that's kind of a win. Um, but yeah, and I look kind of funky today because I'm going to play volleyball with some friend and I really wanted to rock this headband. I'm not really sure if it's my look, but I'm going for it. Why not? Fuck it. So um, that is my update for the time being. I'm going to go finish getting ready. Um, I might have to convince my husband to let me go to the uh, library because I have some books that are overdue. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna head over to my, my father-in-law's house, pick up my sister-in-law, eat lunch, and then we're gonna go play volleyball. So I will check in with you guys when I get home and I can actually do some reading. So cheers to ya and I'll talk to you then. Hi friends, so um, I am back to close out this vlog, this very, um, not as successful as I wanted it to be vlog, but I um, am happy that I ended out my week strong. So um, basically I'm gonna go over every day with you and kind of talk over the um, pros and cons of kind of like forcing yourself to try to read um, 100 pages a day, but also um, the like the things that I, I think that I could uh, change in my schedule and the way that I implement reading that would better um, help me to stay on track with my reading goals. So um, day one, I started off strong. I read 205 pages, which is amazing. Day two, I read 208 pages. Again, really great. Uh, day three, I read 143 pages. So still hit my 100 page goal, but def significantly dropped from the first two days. And then day four, unfortunately, I only read 98 pages. So I didn't quite hit that uh, 100 goal mark, but I'm taking that one as a win since it was so dang close to it. Um, day five and day six, I didn't read anything at all. And then yesterday, I ended out the day strong with 212 pages of City of Brass. So I am so close to the end there. As you can see, I have about 120 pages to go and I'm really enjoying this book. And I'm really, really glad that, um, you know, even though the last second to the last two days of the, of the week, I didn't read as much as I would have wanted to, but actually pushing myself to read this book, um, helped me get through it a lot faster than I thought that it was going to. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, I will be finishing this book probably today because today is actually the 15th. It is the start of the spring into reading a thon. So I have to get started on that CBR. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys kind of like the pros and cons of like pushing myself to, um, read hundred pages a day. Um, I really noticed that especially in February, this was something that I really took a lot of notice in and that is regards to my mental health. So, um, sometimes reading isn't what fuels my mental health. Sometimes reading is not what helps me get through a day when it comes to anxiety and different things like that. So, um, forcing myself to read hundred pages a day can sometimes be a detriment, to, de a detriment to me because it doesn't actually help with whatever state that I'm in. Sometimes I read books as escapism and sometimes I read books, um, hoping that you know, they will balance like whatever mood I'm in. I'm really happy and I'm reading a book that's really happy, then that is something that helps me. But a lot of the times I read, I'm reading these fantasies that have like um, really dark subplots and interesting backstories and like hard to read backstories. And sometimes those are not always the easiest books to read. Um, but I don't tend to love to change up my TBR if I have a very strict TBR that I'm sticking to. And so forcing myself to read that day isn't always the best thing. However, um, I do like the fact that reading 100 pages a day makes me feel super productive. And on the days when I am able to read, it really helps me get through my TBR, especially when I'm feeling kind of slumpy. Um, just giving myself that extra push to get something done is actually quite helpful because other than that, I wouldn't pick up a book at all. And then therefore my slump just gets bigger and um, it's not really super productive in the end. So I definitely think there's some good things and bad things to pushing myself to reading 100 pages a day. I think this is something that's going to be different for everybody. I've seen quite a few people doing um, this whole trend, reading an hour a day, reading two hours a day, reading 100 pages a day. Um, recently, the person that did 100 pages a day was um, Haley from Haley in Bookland. Um, and so she, she thought it was really, she did it for a month actually, but... It was really helpful for her, but I feel like everyone's going to have those days where sometimes you don't do great and other days you do really, really well. So other than that, I really enjoyed it. I'm really glad that I did it. I don't know if this is something that I will continue over the span of my reading experience, but every once in a while when I need a good push, um, I can always just set my, my goal for 100 pages. I think um, from here on out, I want to try to at least read 50 pages a day and not just my audiobook re like reading, actually physically reading a book. Um, 
if it's long because I have the audiobook, then that's fine. But actually sitting down with a book in my hands is something that I want to focus on a little bit more. So that is the update for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. For what I actually was able to read this month, uh, or I'm sorry, this week, I read a whole bunch of City of Brass. Um, I believe I started it during this, 20, this whole reading 100 pages a day. Um, I also read Rhapsodic. Um, which is the first book in the Bargainer series. And then I also read some of um, Tuesday with Morning. So those, oh, and Thunderhead. I forgot I totally read this. Um, I'm still struggling, not struggling through, but I'm still trying to get through this one. But um, yeah, those were all the books I was able to pick up this week. I find it, I, it was still very successful, but um, not exactly the plan that I had for myself. So anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you guys have a certain goal that you guys try to reach each day when it comes to reading. I would love to know. But um, if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And of course, leave any comments, questions, and suggestions in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.